Hello and welcome back to the AIDE tournament. It's of course the Artificial Intelligence Interactive Digital Entertainment Convention. Or convention, I should say. Yeah, well, it's a convention. Lots of people talking about it and all kinds of scientists producing papers and holding talks about the most interesting thing in the world. Of course, there is also a section on Brute War AI, which is the next big challenge. After chess, after Go, real-time RTS with limited information and a huge map with an infinite number of positions. Well, not infinite, but nearly infinite compared to chess. Is very hard for AIs to play. And what you might not be seeing here is that these units can also can only uh, see a small space around them. So the enemy is basically hidden, which means you have to go out and find it with a scouting unit. And that is exactly what's happening. We here see Cherry Pie, um, the Facebook bot by uh, Gabriel Sinead and others, is taking on Purple Wave by uh, Dan Gant. And we see here a handful of. Oh, slow down, boy! Is a handful of the basic Zerg fighting units called Zerglings. Hence the tag Zergling Rush. It's a cheap unit that can be built and quickly sent over to the enemy to kill it. And the Protoss, the yellow player here, has built some basic fighting units of its own called Zealots, and they are going to town on these Zerglings. And now these Zerglings, of course, they are they are faster but they also need to run away properly and if they don't they get cut to pieces by these stalwart sword fighting um, zealots. I don't know if the AWID is PG-13 but I thought I'd refrain from saying something which might not be a uh, bon ton. Okay, so um, defensive structures being built for Zerg which is good because these three small puny Zerglings aren't going to hold these Zealots forever and the Zealots are now going in for the attack and oh god they are wavering that's unfortunate they're moving in and out of the range of this uh, sunken colony which does massive damage and now moving into the range of the second as well and although they do a couple oh well it's bleeding a little bit but the most of the hit points are still green, so not all that many um, hit points are lost, not much damage is done. And Zerg tacking up, increasing the level of this um, main production building, which will enable more and um, highly sophisticated units to be built. Now, Protoss going for some kind of technology of its own. This um, is a cybernetic score. If it's spinning, it means that you have a range for a ranged unit which we'll see momentarily, and these zealots are dying needlessly. Perhaps eventually this sunken colony may die, but at what cost? Zerg having finished the, the lair, it's a more advanced type of uh, main production building, and there you go. Oh, well, we can't we can't really see what it is, but we uh, we can have a peek. It's called a Spire. It will uh, enable the Zerg player to build flying units. And now the Protoss army is moving back to base. And here are the uh, more advanced units. They can also attack air. So I doubt that a switch into air units of one base is going to help the Zerg player very much. But nevertheless, here it comes. We've got a handful of Zerglings and a flying unit called an Overlord, which will provide... Um, scouting information but not if it stays in the rear of course these zerglings are trying to attack but look at the superior protoss forces here and the zerglings after losing three of their buddies think well um see you again next time so they move back to base at the zerg home the spire has finished and i think that we'll see some uh, flying units mutalisks momentarily and the protoss units is sort of how hard countering this with all kinds of Oh, with one kind of unit which can uh, attack air units and that will be the doom of Zerg if it doesn't do something drastically good in the next few minutes. First two air units out. Let's see what they are going to do. They are going to fly straight into the enemy, which is not good. As you can see, they are sort of, well, a little bit weaker than one of these units and there are a lot of Dragoons. So, for the time being, the Zerg is stuck at about, well, 40% of the, the Protoss army, if not 30, and that's unfortunate because these Protoss units are so very strong. One of them is getting attacked, but it gets away with its life, and the other air units don't really dare engage at this point. They are so fragile, they are much more useful if they were, for example, uh, pause the game in mid-battle for a moment. I can do that, haha. 
uh, if they were to run around here and kill the workers, which of course are quite defenseless. But instead they try to take on the, um, oh, sorry, the, um, the Protoss army head on. And although these zealots get cut off and cut down, in the long run the Protoss army with 25 versus uh, 14 workers, 38 versus 13 supply, that's three times the army supply. And the army value of course is a lot higher as well. Lots of units are damaged already. And Protoss is just pumping units, not expanding, not uh, building any more sophisticated technology, just going for the throat. And you can see the disparity in army remaining, but you've also got to take into account that the work account of Protoss is also doubled. So um, the economy is in favor of Protoss, and the workers are now being killed as well. That's very unfortunate. And you can now see that although Zerg is saving some fighting units in the rear, they ideally would need to fight in tandem with these defensive structures, which they are not doing. Units are being built, but only now sent in after a lot of workers have been killed, buildings have been damaged. And although the Protoss is being beaten back momentarily, you can see the worker count for Zerg, the army count for Zerg is just not there. Army count is about five times that of um, of the Zergs of Protoss is, and the Protoss are taking another base. So for the time being, Zerg may be holding with these three long-range defensive structures or two now, and these two will not be long for this world either. So speeding up the initial stage, uh, the latter stages of the game. Um, Protoss might still crash, I don't count on it because crashing is getting increasingly rare in AIs, that's, that's beautiful. And of course these are the top contenders which tend not to crash at all anymore. And that is the game, Purple Wave beating Cherry Pie, GG.